Hi, I'm Matt Shade Tech. I'm a producer and DJ based in Brooklyn, New York. I'm also the senior logic instructor for DubSpot and for DubSpot Online. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a couple of classic house sounds in Logic. Now, just to put this out there up front, I am not making a house beat. I'm actually making a hip hop beat, you know, to evoke some of those sounds in here. And I know that people are sometimes looking for ways to make these sounds, so I thought it would be a good thing to talk about. So I'm just going to play you a real quick piece of the beat. I'll just play you the kind of chorus here that has the sounds I'm talking about in it, and then I'll show you how to create them. This will be a little bit of a quicker tutorial that's aimed a little bit more at beginners, you know, try to mix it up and, and offer stuff for a range of skill levels. So here's a little quick piece of the beat and then we'll look at the sounds. So there's just a little piece of it. And so in my last tutorial, I showed how to make this one. Resampled chord pad. So you can check out the Dubspot channel for that. What I'm gonna focus on in this one are these two sounds. So let's take a look and let's just, you know what, just so we can all, for those who can't use their imaginations to imagine that this is house, I'm actually going to, I'll just half time it and throw a little 4-4 four four kick under there and then you can really hear it. You hear it now? There you go. Okay, so let's look first at this one right here. This is actually super duper easy. I just love the sound. You know, you can hear this in songs like Robin S, Show Me Love. You know, I grew up in New York in the 90s, so uh, I definitely was, was listening to a lot of that music. Even if I didn't like it at the time, I like it now years later. It's funny how that works. But, so here we go. So this is really, really easy. This is just actually a preset. It's in the EVB3. Now, the thing that's funny about this is that there's not like a preset that I've found in the channel strip menu, right? You have to actually load up a new track. Let's make a new software instrument. And then go to the I.O. slot here. Choose the EVB3 tone wheel organ. I'll choose stereo. And then in the presets here, we'll go to clean organ dry house bass. And solo this. And there you go. So the next thing we're going to do is just add a little bit of reverb. Just throw a silver verb on there. I'm actually using a send for mine. Awesome. Turn the, turn the mix down a little. And in mine, I'm also using a little bit of tape delay. We'll use a faster setting here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this down, take the wet down, and push the dry up a little bit. Our cap sock out of the way. Let's push the, the dry to maybe 85% and the wet to 15%. Set it to this faster delay value, and we'll keep probably the feedback pretty low, like maybe also around 15%. And we could also pull the high cut down a little bit to darken the delay repetitions. So maybe a little more feedback. The feedback governs the number of repetitions that we're going to have. Like that. That's pretty cool. Okay. And now I'll just throw my same MIDI pattern from before on there.
pretty easy, but just an awesome sound. And I know that there's a lot of people out there who want to know how to make it. So there's just a, a little quick one on that. The other thing that you hear in a lot of classic house and deep house and stuff like that is this. This kind of looping vocal sound. So this is also really simple. Basically, you're just going to want to get yourself a little vocal sample and tune it to the pitch of your track. And if you don't know how to do that, you can check out my tutorial on playing melodies with vocal samples. So what I did was I, let's see, I think I have it here. Yeah. So this, there's another, another sample in here. I had both of these in here, but let's just move this down a second. And then here's the, here's the original, right? effects on it and what I did I'll just take the effects off for a sec I just take that and bounce it in place right get the vocal sample the way you want it in the sampler right I'm using the EXS 24 and you can see that in the other tutorial and once you got a bounce in place you're just gonna want to choose a juicy little slice of it right so let's find something nice here see so, yeah, I think I use like this Something like that, right? So then just slice slice that out. Lose the other stuff. And then I'm just gonna throw this up here. Loop that. And then we're gonna throw an auto filter on there. Filter, auto filter. Now there's many different ways you could achieve this filter sweeping effect, but this is how I chose to do it. We'll turn the threshold for the envelope down and turn the cutoff modulation for the LFO up. Turn up some resonance. Now you can hear. So the LFO is sweeping down very quickly. What we want is we want the LFO to sweep upward slowly and then jump back down. So what I'm going to do is take the rate over here set it to four bars and set the waveform here, the shape that the LFO is making to this rising sawtooth. And now, now let's see if this we gonna this longer. I'm gonna rise up. Now in that case it's starting a little low, so I'm actually pull my cutoff up some. And I'm going to pull my cutoff modulation down kind of to taste. So somewhere in there. I want to kind of hear it a little bit at the beginning. And when it gets back, it should loop back down. You can kind of add resonance to taste. I think I was pretty good where I was. So what this is doing, right, the LFO is just moving the cutoff of the filter. So you could use automation for this as well if you wanted to. I just like to use this because I kind of try to avoid automation as much as possible, or at least until I really need it, right? So I'm going to turn the, cut, the cutoff modulation for the envelope down, push it up. And the cutoff modulation here is just how much is the LFO affecting the cutoff here, right? We're going to slow the rate down so it's only sweeping up every four bars and then just kind of season to taste with the amount of cutoff modulation and the position of the cutoff of the filter. And this is going to be different for every sample, right? There's not like a standard position where you set it. It depends on what's in the sample, what kind of frequency content is there, and how quickly or slowly you want, to, you want it to sweep and so on. But let's check that out now with the other parts. cool okay so there's a couple little ideas for making kind of classic house sounds and remember right you don't have to only use these for classic house music I'm using them here in a hip-hop track you could put them in your whatever style of music you're doing and get some of that classic house feeling in a new context 
So hopefully this was helpful for you. I am Matt Shaytech. You can find me at mattshaytech.com. And if you want to learn more logic stuff, you can check out dubspot.com and check out our 48 class course there, which you can take either online or at our school in New York City. Thanks for watching. Welcome to DubSpot. We believe in providing you hands-on experience right away. Whether you're completely new to music and want to turn the sounds in your head into a musical reality, or you're an experienced artist looking to refine your skills and add new tools to your arsenal, we're ready to meet you at your level. For students of all ages, all levels, and all styles of music, DubSpot is here to help you achieve your goals. With course offerings both online wherever you are and at our school in the heart of New York City, we are ready to guide you through the next phase of your musical transformation. Whether you want to produce music, DJ, or do both, you've come to the right place. Come explore DubSpot for yourself. Become a part of our community and make music.